Okay, in this video we're going to very quickly go through some of the basics of uh, navigating file directories and structures using the Linux command line. Um, I've got one of the virtual machines open from the networking lab here and we'll use that as an example. So first things first, when you when you open a command line on Linux, for me um, I will almost always start with this command ls which just stands for list the contents of the current directory. So you can see the contents of the current directory there, there's a variety of different files and uh, some folders as well. So let's say we wanted to move up or down into the directory or let's start off with actually just straight up creating a new folder. So um, I'm going to create a new folder uh, and I'm going to call it lecture demo and I do that with this command mkdir make directory and then I just type in the name of the uh, the name of the directory I want to create. Hit enter and then I'm going to type in ls one more time to display the contents of the current directory and there we go down on the left hand side you can see I have a lecture demo directory there. If I want to then move into that directory um, I type in cd so cd stands for change directory and it's my main navigation tool so if I want to move into that directory it's cd then lecture demo. If you're wondering how I'm getting that typed out so quickly I type in the first two or three letters of the thing I'm trying to find and then I push the tab key, the tab key will auto complete an entry if it can find a file or the folder with the same name. To move into it I hit enter and then I'm gonna go ls. Once again um, this directory I just created it's completely empty so I can create a new file in there using um, using one of our text editors either vi or nano so let's uh, for example go nano example file sh enter blah, 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 blah. save the contents of that file and now type ls one more time and you can see there is my uh, there is my file in this directory um, there are uh, there are literally hundreds if not thousands of individual command line commands and they can get quite confusing it can be quite tricky to find out what they are um, but always remember that if you think you remember one um, you can always type in the first letter or letters and push the tab key and uh, tab will if there are more than one options it will display those options for you so um, one of the ones that I use most of the time is um, LSCPU I think which tells me a lot of information about the computer that I'm on. So this virtual machine, for example, has one core um, and it has a 32-bit architecture and not very great stats because it's a virtual machine. Um, the machines that you are actually using will probably be better than that. So let's say I'm I'm sick to death of this. Oh, actually, bef before I do that, um, one of the most useful Linux command line tools is the ability to take output from one program and put it into a text file. So let's take the output of that list CPU command and put it into a text file. I type in my command ls CPU, and then I use the the greater than symbol, and then I type the name of the file I want to put this into. So I'm going to say uh, CPU details.txt hit enter now there is a new file in this folder called CPU details and if I open it with nano I can see it's got the contents of the output of that file uh, the output of that command um, there is another way of opening files in Linux or at least examining their content uh, it is this command cat and cat all it does at this stage is print out prints out the content of that file rather than opening it per se uh, if you don't want to see the whole file you can use this command head dash n how many lines do I want to display I want to display the first 10 lines hit enter and you have to pass it the name of the file you're trying to open and there we go that's the first 10 lines of that file and surprise surprise there is actually a command for doing the opposite reading the last 10 file uh, 10 lines which is tail as well if you run head or tail without that dash n it will still work and it will just display a default number of surprise surprise 10 lines 
Um, so that's the that's the basics of the Linux command line. The final command I'll show you is how do I move out of a directory and then delete it if I'm sick to death of it. Um, to move back up and out of a directory I type in cd space dot dot that will move me back into my original directory space. So if I type in ls you can see I'm back there there's my lecture demo directory and finally if I wish to remove a file in Linux I can type in rm and then the name of the file but if I want to remove a directory watch what happens if I type in rm then lecture demo cannot remove lecture demo because it is a directory because that directory is currently got some stuff in it Linux won't allow me to delete it however I can delete files within that remove lecture demo slash example file dot sh that will work if I want to delete a folder that contains files without deleting them I type in rm dash r and then the name of that folder there we go now my lecture demo example has gone we're back exactly to where we started and that's the end of this video on the basics of uh, the Linux command line